you're invited to visit the refreshment stand, where you'll be greeted with fast, friendly service. You'll find hot dogs, juicy hamburgers, and mouth-watering delicious pizza. There are refreshing hot and cold beverages, ice-cold cola, and orange drink. Goes great with an order of crispy French fries. Then there's a wide selection of your favorite candies and other delicious snacks. And there's always a fresh batch of hot buttered popcorn to go with the rest of the show. So visit the refreshment stand now during this 10-minute intermission and add to your enjoyment of the movie. We're happy to have you with us tonight and hope you'll come back often. I am Goro and you are not. What is up? What is, what is going, going on? Welcome everybody to Extreme Theater. I'm here with Chris C. The Slasher Dude. And today, well, I always consider it until I go to bed. Still the same day. So today is Chris's birthday. Happy birthday, man. Um, Appreciate and, that. Thank you all for the love, everybody. I see a few people in chat. You know, I've been doing the rounds today. So yeah, fun day today. Always, always fun day. Yeah. And and welcome with, with a, with a um, you know, a, a very fun film. This oh, is a dude. Like no other, man. <laughs> the, you, you so 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 you, so you finally see it for the first time, huh? What was um, your initial thoughts? I saw this on um, it is available on Look Movie too. Like, um, it is available on Tubi. You will get commercials. That's how I'm going to be watching it. Um, I know uh, Dirk on his channel with Darren and Gizmo was on there too. 
they discussed the film. They love it. Uh, it was a great room. Re- I know, was it 88 Films released it? Um, yeah. And Severin sure. did a great release for it. And I'm like, I'm going to just check this out, see what's going on. Dirk would show clips of the the man, the man, baby child. Um, uh, woo, yeah. like all this stuff, mama, all this stuff too. You bunch of horny mama. people, bunch of horny people. The same dubbing that I've seen in the shitload of Jalos, specifically the dad. It's the same dubbing voice I've heard with. Uh, with oh, definitely. Pastilli, like, you know, with the Luigi Pastilli, the English voice for him. So yeah. uh, it, it's a fun one. A uh, great score to this. Um, this movie is so, so bad. Awesome. It's good. Um, it, 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 it's, it's up there, really. So it's, uh, yeah, it, it's a crazy great time. I, I cracked up. It's very funny. I first got this about 15 years ago um, when I was going through it. I was getting movies off Pirate Bay. Well, um, <laughs> this, this is what I kind of came across. You know what I mean? It took it forever to download because I had the seed and all that kind of bullshit. Yeah. I finally got it on there and I could not fucking believe it, man. This did this kid loves his mama. That's for damn sure. And his mama's hot, but it's your mama, dude. It's it's the mom and it's a lot of the uh jealous. You know I mean? It almost looks like it's his step parents. Um you know yeah. um, that's, so. that's his stepdad, yeah. That, yes, that, 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 it's his just... real mom. But his real mom, and, and she and she is she is a beautiful Italian woman. I mean, I'll give him that, but it's your mom. Well, they're all pretty. Um this is the You're only film well, by this direct know? yeah, this is the only film by this director, too, isn't it? Or has he done other stuff? Because well, um she uh, I think it's um He's done uh, so the seduction of Angela in, in 1986 and a couple of others back in the day. But other than that, yeah, hadn't, hadn't done a whole lot, no. It's definitely like a, a Gates of Hell type of a film. I do like it. Um, the effects are really good, even though you can sometimes see it. We'll discuss but, it during the film, too. You can see the you can see the blemishes and shit, but the effects are done, practical effects are done really well for this type of film. Uh, reminds me of Gates of Hell trilogy a little bit. There's a lot of stuff that's yeah. going on here. You don't know the cause of it and stuff like that. It just happens, right? So yeah, for for me, this is the uh, perfect amount of zombie and sleaze for just the first. Oh, time. dude, I'm shocked of how horny these people are and how <laughs> funny the dubbing is. The dubbing is so funny; it's insanely funny. Yeah, I I have which I've never watched, but um, I have uh, on the on this 80, on the eighty eight version um, on the eighty eight films version here. It's got a 2.0 English mono, and it also has a 2.0 English, uh, Italian mono with English subtitles. Yeah. So I, I would be interested in watching the Italian version of it sometime. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, like I say, yes, I have to stay good with funds. I'm glad these you know? streaming services do have it and stuff like that, too. It's a great way to check these out for free, really, and um, just have some, uh, some fun and kind of... On so yeah, you know, on YouTube, it's on Tubi, it's on these places. Yeah, it's it's um, I it's hate to definitely take books on, on YouTube though because I I I can remember uh, it was like a shriek show version of the uh, the DVD is the one I owned for years, and it lo- it did not look good up until this this uh, the uh, Severin version the uh, Blu-ray that came out about six yeah seven eighty-eight years ago. films in Severin seem to be like coexist kind of like what um Arrow does with with uh with them in the UK a little bit too so I can kind of yeah. see that. So you got uh, they did that with Jess Franco's uh Dracula too. Yeah, I, I on the stream of, the stream prior I did watch Bloody Moon. That's my first yeah. Jess Franco film. That's probably his best film Pretty that good. he's done. <laughs> so yeah. But uh, yeah, man, this, this 1980. Um, uh, next week we'll be doing uh, 1976's um, uh, Living Dead at Manchester Morgue, Mr. Moore. Yeah. which I, I fucking love that one too. That has got a creep factor. It's so it's different than a lot of zombie films. There's a couple of parts in that one that's got a really, a really good scary feel to it. But Did Synapse release that one or? Um, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I I have the Steel Book. And and I have a few other versions of it too. So yeah, it yeah. A lot of people say that's a good one too. Yeah, that gets praised for being a good zombie film for what it is, or Undead. I won't call it zombie. I'll call it Undead. You know, so. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, Living Dead at Manchester Morgue, or um, also um, um, 
let's see, uh, Living De- uh, let's see, Living Dead Manchester War, or uh, God damn it. Forgetting the fucking name, and I know it's well. I know my fucking own. Let me see here. Let's living courses lie. So okay, so I didn't have to cheat after all. Let's living courses lie because I have this version right. Let's see where is that version. <laughs> it, it's a uh, it, it, it's, it's a metal pack version, man. I used to have it all the way up there. I, I just got so fucking manic. I got the new shelving for my kitchen area for that back wall there. It was the same issue. It's like, we'll see all my Screen Factory stuff is there. <laughs> Shock the stupid, uh, stupid board hasn't sagged yet on there. Okay, it's not there anymore. I have to move it somewhere. Hold on. That's so fucking irritating. I have got the point to where I have so many that I don't know where shit is anymore. That's when you know you've gotten way too many. Oh shit. Talking to Darren about some of this stuff, some of these TV films, looking at them on DVD, like I was discussing with you, like that um, the TV film with uh, Powers Booth playing Jim Jones. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Uh, that TV film, um, The Killer in the Family with, um, um, oh God, what's his name? It's a very young James, it's a young James Spader. And um, oh yeah. God, the dude that was in Night of the Hunter. Um, that's Mitchell. based off a true story. Like you say, uh, the Robert one Mitchell. Ted Bundy one with, um, you know, so there's there's like a lot. Um, there's one possession yeah. one, a TV one with the chick that played uh, Jeannie, and I Dream of Jeannie. Oh, Bob Eden, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot. Yeah, yeah Junebug, I I would, man, but I I went over to um YouTube Studio, and I cannot for some reason um I, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever, but I cannot. It will not let me go into it to add any more moderator. I don't know what the deal is with it. It's a police YouTube police something like that. I know they're starting to really crack down on a lot of stuff, ad blockers, all this stuff too. It's like a big no no. I was like, dang, dude, what's going on? Right, right. It's like two of my intro videos, like one of them yesterday, copyright, but they don't care. The person with the video doesn't care that I'm using their intro video, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if you'd had any. Um kickback from showing the trailer no not a lot like i said youtube would tell me or they would tell me just says copyright but it basically says because like i click onto my ipad and i look at it and they say yeah the person is fine with this basically like that there's no issues copyright but it was what it was for with the one that um i did with darren i think or with you was um no it was the one i did with darren on uh Another off the cuff uh, slasher stream was, uh, you know, what it shows. It was basically a video that I copied off of YouTube, like funny, um, funny kills and slashers or whatever like that, or what they consider mm-hmm. funny. Jeepers Creepers, the second one on the bus, you know, considering yeah. it's Jeepers Creepers, and then um, Final Destination. <laughs> Nothing for Friday the Thirteenth, but mm-hmm. other than maybe it was Scream Factory, and they saw that. So, right. <laughs> so it is what it is. I'm like going, I'm prepping you guys. So what does it matter? Yeah. So. yeah. That's what I don't get about it is they'll look at it as free advertisement. You know, I don't, we're not stealing nothing. We're not claiming it's ours. You know what I mean? So I'm not claiming it's ours. That's why I put it on Anna Monica if I can and switch I mean, it off and make it grainy or whatever like that. And if it works, it works. But I get why a lot of people do their own stuff. If I still had a CD or a, a slot. If I had a slot area in my pc or something like that i would do that but you know and just do my own uh, own vids that's what dirk does here it is damn it i i, I just not remember i put it back there here it is here's the other name for, for what's going on next week oh let this oh one. let sleeping corpses lie oh that's a nice dvd of that yeah it's one of these metal packs um but 
yeah, this is also this one's also known as um, uh, the Knights of Terror. It's also a no yeah, Knights of Terror. That's how it says it on Look Movie. Another version of Zombie Three. This is one of the many that's called Zombie Three. I can see that. Is also called Zombie Three. Yeah, I can see that. So who knows, man? Um, but yeah, I, I got I got it set up here. Um, okay. should I, I guess I'll give a slow five and we'll go for it, man. Yeah. Five. Four. Three, two, one. But yeah, I fucking love this one, man. I, I've been there, like shit like this and uh, Motel Massacre and shit like that. I love is ones I, I love to try to get people into, like Humongous. I tried for the longest time to get people into that. I, I, they're I good kind of, yeah. They're good kind of palate cleansers, right? Because I, I get desensitized. God, I'm shocked how desensitized I got. Well, I'd be like, eh, you know. And, yeah, uh, man. Because this movie is know, so funny, it's good, and it, the, the soundtrack for this is great. Though it's it's weird, the score. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the um, yeah, the the uh, music is done by uh, Lacio Mancuso and Bert Pisano, which is also with the beard here, the epic which, beard looks like uh, looks like Moses. Yeah, yeah, the uh, professor. Yeah, the professor. <laughs> Raimondo Barbiari, yeah. He's like all big guys. It's like, what is this? Incredible. <laughs> he kind of looks like TR, man. Texas Rose. He does. Cave man. <laughs> he does. I had thought about that before, but yeah. This like, like mansion that happens because it's like a burial ground, right? Hence, that's what it's called. But it's like... Almost like poltergeist. Right. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah, that's very true. Speaking very, of, speaking of that, speaking of that, man, I, I, I wouldn't mind doing a uh, behind the mask sometime. Here oh, tonight. Leslie Vernon? Oh yeah. great that's found totally footage film. It's it's great. It's great. Yeah. Hey man, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, Jason? My favorite YouTube Jason. Yeah, oh See, yeah. Just the music and the score. I'd love to get the soundtrack to this. He, he, him, he, him, and a couple other people have probably been my best friends on here. Names a couple other people. Oh yeah, yeah, last, Ninja's great. Yeah, Jason. Throughout the last couple of years, yeah, they have been really, really loyal and really good friends. Mark. No matter how much of an asshole I am, they stayed right by me. <laughs> hey, you know, all, all, all family. All, all friends and family are assholes, dude. You just fight right. it out in the backyard and you're all lovely again. I mean, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, it's got a very unique score. It it's does. the first thing I noticed about this. The typical tropey thing decides to go back out when it's like black as night, you know. I'll go back in here, sure. Now, this this 4K is, is, a, little, is a little darker than, than the uh, Blu-ray and the DVD. Tubi um, probably got their transfer from that 4K, or you know the the Blu-ray part of it. Yeah, it's a transfer, probably 2K transfer from Blu-ray. I'm I'm watching the uh, the 88 films uh, 4K. I, I haven't got the seven 4K yet. I have the seven Blu-ray, but, but not the 4K. You don't need it. Like I say, 88 does a good job too with with yeah. their stuff. They have a good one at House at the Edge of the Park too. Yeah. Yeah, like Dennis Leary. I'm a natural. Just like one thing with the axe. He's like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Yeah, it, it looks great, man. It looks great. Um it's been a minute. Maybe it's not a little darker. I, I could be wrong on that. Don't don't you know, don't uh take me literally. But it it, it looks great indeed. But this work there when he was walking around the door. Here we go. Yeah, when when he just un was it he opens the tomb up right, kind of moves it and he sees it. What what this reminds me of is the is Omen Two. You know what? It's been it's been over twenty years since I've seen that film. This part reminds me of the Omen Two when uh, that that no no ah. Oh, there's, no. definitely some, there's definitely some <laughs> ugly fucking uh, zombies. They are. They're ugly, creepy motherfuckers, dude. You can tell some of them they didn't have the budget. Right. 
Yeah, the Knights like, of Terror. Yeah. There's like there's like a, a rubber prosthetic just kind of stuck on there with a little bit of makeup. Yeah, with Karen Karen Well. Karen, 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 Karen Wells hot too. Man. Well, Luigi Terizzi. <laughs> yeah, it didn't seem burial ground. It, it just says the Knights of Terror. Like, I'm not even sure this is even called Burial Ground to begin with. Oh, no. It's like Jallos. They have so many different names. It's like crazy. If you want to say it correctly, it's something I cannot uh, cannot pronounce. Yeah. It's, it's called something. Yeah, it's like Evelyn. Maria Angela Giordano is uh, Evelyn. <laughs> in, in every country, you get a different name. For them. This is Italian horror, though. I mean, this is up there for Italian mm -hmm. horror, in my opinion. I mean, it's way up there. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just it's just weird, good like that. Well, so so is um, uh, Louis did at Manchester Moor. It's Italian horror just done just done in Britain, <laughs> right? It is, but all all the people that made it, you know, all, you know, all the uh, makers are are Italian. It's like that with Bloody Moon, which is funny. Uh, Jess Franco said originally they wanted it to be done in Germany. I think. Because of the German actress that was in there, and he's like, "Dude, we're in Spain. Let's just do it here." <laughs> sure enough, they do it in Spain. I forget where this is at. Oh shit! So do I. The old Mercedes and the uh, Volkswagen. You see a lot of Volkswagens in these films. Yes, no, the they Beatles. Were very popular cars at one time. There's the creepy looking bastard in the back. He yeah, he's also I'm not sure how old he was here, but who knows? He 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 could have went for a kid or an adult then even. Mama. Don't you think he used the telephone? <laughs> and you will, darling. Yeah. He don't like anybody touching his mama. He don't. But because he wants to. <laughs> Yeah, towards the end of that, yes, you can do whatever you want, honey, like he used to do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was like, dude. He's a creeper, too. The little bastard's a creeper. <laughs> but, yeah, I would definitely recommend that, man. Gra gra grab grab that, man. man. If you get a good price on it, grab it. Because I would imagine it's the same transfer as Severhead. I know Jason lives in Australia, so uh, I don't know where he could look, what boutique labels he can look on or what uh, online stores he can look on. He, he knows where to get this stuff, too, anyway. so Oh, yeah, like the butler of the house, this flipping huge, huge mansion. This place is gigantic. The maid. Why is this whole? I don't even remember. Why is this whole group going here? Are they vacationing or what? Yeah. Well, they're meeting the doctor. The doctor called them there, right? Or okay. Yeah. But that's what I mean. There's a lot of shit going on in this film that makes no damn sense. But right. they're just kind of all showing up there to this big ass, very beautiful, big old, fucking like gothic Victorian Fire, fireplace in the bedrooms. Big ass fireplaces. Yeah. They're already getting ready to get it on. They're just like all set there. Yeah. That's the first thing they do. They all start booking. Oh, this is great. This is the one scene right here where she's like, oh, there's my baby boy. All right. I let you sleep. <laughs> then he's like, oh, Weird. there it is. <laughs> yeah. She, she, she is fucking gorgeous though. I, I, I will give him that, but goddamn, dude, it's your mama. And Yikes. the actual uh, other couple there, her doing the sexy dance in front of them and shit. She, to me, she looks like, she reminds me of Christine McVie from Fleetwood Mac. Damn. In the face, she reminds me of, of Christine McVie that just passed away from Fleetwood Mac. Something about her. She's not attractive in the face, yet she is. You know what I mean? That's a nice get up. Sheesh. 
She's got the boots on still. <laughs> the blonde might be the best, though. I, I don't know, man. Yeah. Karen, Karen Well might might be the best. I don't know. I don't know. They're all they're all three pretty nice. They're yeah, they're all pretty damn nice. No, no. no. Yeah, while they while the other couple was doing it in the other bedroom. So yeah, they're just like they couldn't hold it in. So you know what I mean? They're just like, damn, we're just gonna get out of this car. We're just gonna do it, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's pretty good from her too. You're talking about the chick from Friday the Thirteenth, boy. She can. Uh, <laughs> that's good voice talent there. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Here it is. The shadow gets gets a little big and shit. And they just steps in. The typical uh, Italian jalous type. Of like you're not quite sure who's coming in. You see this little tiny fucker. He he uh, he got all of his his uh, his things what? from this film. What are you doing here? Where she puts the towel up, then all of a sudden she's full frontal with it down and stuff like that. Michael, what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the chick that. Uh, the blonde that gets the premonition that something's going on. Yeah. We got to get out of here. Something's wrong. Yeah, why? You know, it's like, what the hell's the problem? Yeah, what the hell's going on? Like uh, Amityville a little bit with the uh, the chick uh, that has the sixth sense or whatever. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good future watch along on your channel. I like Amityville with a... Uh, James Brolin? Yeah. Yeah. Margot yeah, Getter. The, yeah, second one's really good too, man. Ron Steiger. Yeah, I fucking love the uh the uh, nun. She goes in there and she starts getting sick. And she starts getting and sick. The priest she does. Her, man, she goes, ah! and she fucking pukes yeah. loud, man. Ah! The, the flies in the fucking bedroom? That's like a trip. Yeah, here they go. They're all starting to march out of there. And there's a lot of them too. I mean, they were like monks or something, weren't they? Towards the end, too, they go into the church. <laughs> These are really smart, too, man. They, no, they no, they're probably the more them. smarter. They're the more smarter undead I've seen in these these type of films. Yeah, yeah. They they grab battering rams and everything else to get in. Yeah. When I was at the new ports of my intro, man, I had to add some teens to this. I, I had to. Yeah, the mausoleum. I had to do it. Because <laughs> some J and B. Wow. Well, you know, I don't think I've ever drank J and B in my life. Even as much as I used to drink, I never drank J and B ever. I've had Jim Beam a few times. Janet, darling, please. <laughs> but, um, anybody's curious? We got, uh, let's see. Like 13 minutes, 14 minutes in? Time stamp for about 14 minutes. Yeah, 14 minutes. I'm at 14.06. It's a bit of a walk, and he always like looking at that like, what the fuck you doing? There we go. You know what the score kind of reminds me of? John Carpenter. Like, yeah, yeah. 
like the fog, kind of that creeping death type of a score. Right. Oh, the, the, the fog is really underrated, man. To, to me, the fog might be up there in this top two or three best. I, I do like the fog a lot. Uh, oh, God. The fog. One of these days, I'll do Carpenter's best. I mean, the thing is, is like, I mean, probably like everybody it might be number one, but Christine is very good. It is, man. It is. Christine is very good. That's one of the best. That's one of the best uh, Stephen King adaptions films ever. I mean, well, look, man, you 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 have a uh, you have a Stephen King story adapted directly. You know, a direct Stephen King story is some of his earlier shit, even, you yeah. know, before he started repeating himself, um, directed and scored. He was done. going through some bad Robert times did. when he was doing Christine, too. He was going through some bad shit. I think was that is after the car accident and shit. So that but, that but book is all over the place. Not only did Carpenter direct it, but he also did the score. That's why I mean, Deborah Hill. Was, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's probably his most underrated score. Well, bad to the bone, yeah, but I love Christine. I mean, it. it I'm shocked of how good that is. Yeah, I, 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 I did that with um. What, what's his name? Many years ago, well, not many years ago. I like I've been on here for ten years or something. Probably, probably like two years ago. I can't remember who it was with. Do you, do you remember who it was with Russell? I, I hey, Russell. Welcome back. What's his name? He he's got a pretty he's, he's got a pretty happening channel now. He, he's the one always does stuff with night with Nightwatch though. Sean Clark? No, no, no. Um, um uh, he was sick here a while back. I I, I, I can't remember his fucking name though. This was serious supernatural shit happening, balls and shit busting. <laughs> Sorry, I just yeah. got mad for the moment. So mm, that's yeah. the only problem with it, this being in 4K is you can really see the fuck ups in, in the makeup here. That's the thing. That's why some people like graininess. Like that's what makes the 4K seconds I did of Texas Chainsaw Massacre so good because you can see how the DNR really works. You can see how that works. And on the this Prowler, is the Prowler is a great example. That's the best 2K transfer I've ever seen. Um, right. You can see the problems with that film. Yeah, you can see that. Well, that's right. The, the lights go out. They start is, flickering and shit. Like, what's going on? Even, the blonde chick had so much of a premonition that there's a problem there. Yet she's gonna lay out and fuck around and make out and shit now. The mate is funny. Like oh oh, and then the lights all start breaking and shit. Oh yeah yeah, she had this, such a premonition. It, it don't seem to be bothering her now. Yeah, it's like some of the masks look good, the other ones not so much. Man, boy's wearing his pants all the way up to his chest, eh? He is. <laughs> it's like if you wear your pants that high, don't tuck your shirt in. Mother. She immediately comes in and cuts in between. It reminds me of what, what my puppy does with, 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 with me and my uh, me and my fiance. If my fiance just touches me, my little chihuahua, she's a it's girl. All pissed off. She'll come and get right in between us and shit and start loving on me a lot. That's the same thing that, that little Michael just did there with his mom. Mama. He immediately comes Mama. Yeah. That's right. Like, what is he like? One of the dudes with the porn mustache. Was he like a writer or something like that? Or, you know, starts just yeah. uh, doing the do with her on there. Right. Like, they just start going all over the place. Mm. Yep, yeah, 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 we're checking it out right now, Russell. We're, um, what's, what, what's, I, I can't see the time stamp as well as you can. Yeah, they start shooting the gun off in, like, this mausoleum type place, like, just shooting shit. About 19 minutes in, the yeah. time stamp. Because of the, because of the ads, I'm, like, 17. Hey, Metal, what's up? Right. What's up, Heavy Metal Obscurities? Great fucking name. Oh, hell yeah. It's like, what are you doing shooting the gun here? He's all kissing her and shit. <laughs> so, so. This part is heavily influenced by zombies when they start coming out of the ground and have the maggots on their face. Very oh, yeah, you know they're going for that. I mean, that's the that's the outlier. Zombies the outlier. 
Yeah, it, it has slowly become just about my favorite. Because one. you know, like I say, Dawn of the Dead by Savini. But if not for Zombie, we would not have what we got in Dawn uh, in uh in Day of the Dead, in my opinion. Right. Good video by JT too. Uh, top of what was it? Forty like horror kills and stuff like that too. That was great, dude. That was great. Yeah. The, the the kill from Chrome Skull, I think it is. I forget what he uses. It like goes right through the dude's neck in the car. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that is so much like zombie. They all rise up like this and shit, like the conquistadors, you know, and zombie and shit. Hey, Bliss. Hey, Bliss. Yeah, this is this is it is, uh, it is Russ. It is Russ. <laughs> this is the the the, the epitome of, of of so bad it's good. Yeah, it's trashy. It's trash taste, you know. Like I say, it's a perfect mix of sleaze and zombie. It's almost grindhouse like. Oh, definitely is. But that that is a good effect there, as it comes out with actual maggots on it, dude. That's like. It's funny how that's they good, how they try to fight them. They're like all <laughs> like that. I'm like, you aim for the head, you dumbass. Yeah, it's just sitting there all creepily, all all on the ground, just looking at him. It's monstrous. Whatever it is, it's not human. Whatever it is, it's not human. <laughs> They're all framing it out. Oh, yeah, that's right. She she gets in a bear trap, which is hilarious. Which is interesting. Mark, Janet, damn it, Janet. Dr. Scott. Brad. Rocky. <laughs> yeah, I fucking love it, man. I can't help it. I, I fucking love it. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's not human. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but whatever it is, it's not human. Human. <laughs> Come on. Let's get out of here. They just look like they are in a bad fucking mood. You got these all really fucked up dudes, and then you got this guy, you know, and then you got this guy with makeup on. Where, yeah, where you can tell that's what I mean. I think they lost some budget here. I guess they don't have the budget for everything else. <laughs> where you can just tell it's just some guy. Yeah. The way they run is funny. The way the dude runs, he's all like all down like this. He's all like. <laughs> yeah. it, he is. And they're just taking their time because there's so damn many of them. So it's like they know. <laughs> it's like, oh, we don't have to chase them. Uh, yeah, they're just going to go to the big house. Yeah, th yeah, the one that comes out of the grass, you can kind of tell there. I do like about this is they never give you a reason, right, how to stop them. They don't give you a reason, right, because they just keep on coming. Yeah, the professor was just fucking with shit and just let them breathe. Yeah. As soon as he popped that seal, there, there it was. Yeah, the gates of hell have opened, as it says on the, the tagline. The gates of hell have opened. <laughs> Haven't heard that before, but. And there's no smooth, um, satisfactory ending either. You know what I mean? It's That's what I, I like. That I like it when there's no satisfactory ending. We don't get enough of those, right? I'm no, tired no. of these these stupid happy endings in horror, dude. There's no such thing. You're the only one that can stop him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, at least with Insidious, the first one, you didn't get a happy ending. I oh, mean. Hell no. Yeah, JT mentioned one, too. The Beast Within, I guess, is transformation. It is like a trip. <laughs> it, 
it, it, it puts me in mind uh, almost uh, of the one in the Mammonville 2, the possession. I had that part of a 3 DVD set that comes with the remake. Yeah. Mama, check this cloth. It smells of death. <laughs> yeah, like 25 minutes in, guys. If you want to find the uh, timestamp on it. Hey, 4K. What's going on, man? Beats with hey, yo, Brad, what's going on, my brother? Yeah, Brad, don't the transformation in Beast Within kind of put you in mind of Vanity Girl 2, the possession, kind of? The way it just ends up peeling and right the fuck off. And kind of, and oh, actually, God. Basically. Yeah. I still have to watch it, too, because JT did mention uh, The Haunting of Julia. Uh, yeah. I have that 4K that uh, Scream Factory released. That's there is another one. one. I think that Second Sight did, um, if yeah. I'm correct. That is so fucking good, yeah. Beast Within, man. I first seen that when I was about eight years old, man. Yeah? That That's a hell of a watch when you're eight years old. Eight, eight nine years old. You know, oh, that's you got right. The yeah, the dad's all shooting with the pistol in the wrong spot, mind you. Because you got the whole rape thing. You, I, I see way too much rape and rape revenge when I was a little kid, man. It's, 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 just, not, it's just not good for a little, for a young mind. Yeah, for a young mind. <laughs> you know? It's, it's like, what the fuck? Well, I remember seeing The Wraith on TV, but that was edited-wise, and I got the best drawn, and I watched it. It was on Prime. And I'm like, you know I what? Watched, I'm like, damn, I haven't seen this in forever. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen The Wraith since I was a teenager, probably. That's probably the last time I watched it. I like The Wraith. I, I do. I actually yeah. really like it. It's a trip of a film. but Yeah, if I was a little bigger Charlie Sheen fan, I would like it more. I'm not a huge fan of his. Just, you know, he just kind of just... I still like his face, but the howling. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the howling. Damn. Yeah. The howling, in my opinion, is the best transformation, world transformation scene. And it, it is the, as far as horror goes. That's my number one werewolf film. Um, uh, Silver too. Bullet is second. Yeah. And, but um, something about the howling there, with the ending with Dee Wallace and stuff like that, that gets to me a little bit because she's crying in that transformation. She's just like, just do it. Well, yeah, it's that, that death's head grin that Eddie yeah. gets is fucking yeah. terrifying, man. Yeah, it's terrifying. That still gets me. Every time I see that now, it still fucks with me a little bit. Yeah, you take care, Cal. Thanks for dropping in and saying hi there. I know he did a video too at the panel that he has and stuff like that, but yeah, take care. Uh, take care of that. Yeah, it, it, that still gets me. A as far as horror goes, oh yeah, that is the scariest horror transformation. It's too bad that um, it's too bad that he he ended up becoming a a, a shut in and, and stop doing effects, man. True. You know, yeah, because Joe Dante, yeah, Joe Dante, he's an interesting uh, director. He did, he, he, Joe Dante did Gremlins too. So it's like, yeah. oh, that's right, more, more, more people making love, and you see the <laughs> the freaky looking dude with the eye come out, come out of the flower pot area. He's like, Ugh. yeah. Just imagine what he could have done as times went on. How good his shit could have got. Man. Oh, oh, it's with a lot of a lot of actors and directors and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a lot. Because he 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 did that. Um, he did that shit uh, when, when he was only 18 years old, and then he did the thing when he was like 20, 21. And look how good the, the thing is. Some of the best oh damn yeah. And he's barely old enough to drink, you know. And just imagine how good he could have got. But he, he became a life just kind of got to him, man. He kind of became agoraphobic. And I, and of course, I know how that is. It was mentioned in my stream, too. Keith, have you seen a Evil Dead Trap? No, I have not ever seen that. Yeah. I need to check that out. I've heard it's quite good. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I've heard. It's just one of those, you know what I mean? That's what, Yeah, it has a release. I forget who released it, but it does have a release because there's two of them. I think Unearth Films might have done it. For Right. Uh, uh. 
Oh, oh. Open the door. Yeah, the uh, dubbing is interesting. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I have, I've got to watch this in, in Italian and read the subtitle just, just to see how much different it sounds. Yeah. I have the option. The next time I watch it, that's what I'm going to do. This one's fucked up, man. It's got the eyeball sticking out. The like window I, kill is pretty good with the maid. I, I was impressed by that. I was like, <laughs> oh, 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 the sickle. Yeah, dude. Yeah, just um, the a, a, a true sickle, a true sickle. One of the big suckers just goes. Well, I'm just gonna go up here like this and slow too. Like, uh. I, I I put that that scene in in in, in my intro too. I, that's one of the ones I added to it. That's that's very Fulci. That's very very Fulci. How that's done, really? extreme Fulci. Yeah, yeah. This, I'm at the point where she gets stuck in the bear trap. She's like, oh, get stuck in the bear trap. Someone get it out. <laughs> oh man, I, I bet that was interesting, Russell. He said he seen the howling in the cinema on three tabs of Sid. That's right. It is on Shutter. Yeah, yeah. Brad mentions it's on Shutter. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check that out. I have it on my watch list. I heard Baghead was pretty good. Um, JT watched that. It's like kind of like a, it's a Shutter original. It's kind of like talk to me a little bit. These kids in, in, inherit this mansion, and there's a woman down there, and you know, like you talk to the dead and shit like that. So it looks interesting. Right. In a violent nature, though, when that comes out, I'm definitely going to watch that. That looks to be a good slasher there. POV or like shot in like third person from the killer's point of view from the back. It looks pretty good. Yeah. What do you do when you stab the zombie with the pitchfork and it grabs it, pulls it out, and throws it aside? It's weird. When I look at the dude, he looks like a young he looks like a young version of Powers Booth a little bit. The way his face looks, <laughs> he does. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, no. Only the eyeball protruding is strangling the guy. He's like, you son of a bitch, stab me with the goddamn pitchfork. It's, it's funny the hesitation that he has. He's like trying to aim the pitchfork for some some damn reason. Yeah. There, 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 there's the Fulci influence again with a lot of uh, worms. Oh, man. Nice head crush. The whole time you got this weird music going. On. Yeah, in a violent is... nature. Yeah, it hits theaters. Yeah, it's an IFC film. Uh, and um, yeah, very cool. The head just crushed like a face. Get me out of here, hungry. She's still trapped in this goddamn fucking trap, in this bear trap or whatever. And she's just like sitting there watching him get his ass choked out. <laughs> oh, yeah, The Rock. This was pretty good. This was pretty good. I have to admit, this is good practical stuff for what they have. Right. Oh, that's right. She takes a minute, too, with the head. It's like probably like a melon or something's on there. So she just keeps on <laughs> hitting it. Ugh. There's no one. I, I'm still here, goddamn. You can try to kill him. They're just gonna run. How the 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 woman in the red shirt and the white dress gets uh, taken out? That's pretty good too. Uh, I like that one. Yeah. How she kind of turns and shit like that in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. You can thank good old uh, Sunny Boy for that one. Okay, I, was wondering, I was wondering if Peter Bork's wearing a wig. And the, <laughs> the, the hair just don't even look natural. Like, like they just kind of took it, kind, kind, kind of like a Lego, how they just kind of set the hair on top, stick it on top. You're kind of right. It kind of does. The way it moves a little bit, I just noticed that. Yeah. It looks like Lego hair. Yeah. 
their expressions are 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 classic. They're just like, no, we're just doomed. We can't do anything. Yeah. From the time this starts to the time it ends, man. I mean, like once it starts, it just keeps going until the end. It does. It does. At least it like it it keeps it going like really at the start, and it just uh it doesn't let up. It's oh yeah, unrelenting. Yeah. There is no in between time where they can sit around and talk and shit. Yeah. I do have two. There's a slasher in there too. Brad has it as well. It's uh, the uh, main Hong Kong, made in a Hong Kong set that Vinegar Syndrome released. It's like three category, three films in there. Two have Anthony Wong in there. Uh, Brad mentioned one of those is like a Friday the 13th ripoff type of a slasher category three film. Definitely need to check those out too. I forget the name of it. Hey, Corey, thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Yeah, I liked your uh, your trailers earlier, man. The Sweet 16 and all that. Yeah, that's an old video I found on YouTube, The Incubus. I was like, that's great. I'm like, oh, is that John Cassavetes? Yes, it is. <laughs> great director. Yeah. Great director. Um, Glory Did Gloria. Um, didn't know that. And his son's an actor, too. <laughs> Sweet 16 is kind of an unknown one with uh, Dana Kimball. Yeah, Dana, the, the Dana final Kimball. girl from part three. I noticed yep. her in the trailer. Part three. The, uh, the teaser for Mortuary with the, the dude oh, yeah. from The Hills Have Eyes and stuff like that that's not really in the film. That's funny Darren mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that trailer is completely different than the film. That's on Tubi as well, uh, Mortuary. Yeah, I've got a lot of those saved in, in my uh, great films list. I have a bunch of them in there. Twister Sister? Hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, Twisted Sister. Yeah, D. Snyder. Even though it's not a great film, I know it'll eventually get another release. A Strange Land. D. Snyder plays like a serial killer in that. I think it's okay. It's not the greatest thing in the world. I haven't seen it in a long time. I had the, I, I had the I, DVD of that. I think. I enjoy it, man. Uh, D. D. Does such a great job in it, man. That's right, the mom and mom and kid are together and stuff like that too. They're trying to find help. Yeah, D does a great job, man. He's sitting there explaining to you about pain and shit. Why? Yeah, what he's going to do. The dude who played the police officer is pretty good too. I forget. Oh god, like I said, it's been a long time. That that's Kevin Gage, man, from uh, Late to Rest and uh, yeah, the detective. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Gage, yep. That's also got a very young Amy Smart in it. Oh, that's right. This is where um, I'm at the part where she uh, gets the paint and she throws the paint on the dude and sets him mm -hmm. on fire. Props to the dudes that got let themselves get set on fire there. They must have had retardant on them. You know, that's like. They'll just turn around and leave here, man. And this this is when they go get the battering rams because they know they can't get into the door, so they're just gonna. Yeah, they're like, them. yeah, they're like, f this shit. <laughs> it was like, what's weird about this is, is you still see the maid running around handing drinks and shit on the train. Right, like nothing's going on. They don't know what's going what? on outside. Yeah, she's just still doing her job. It's when they actually all finally get into the house and she they ask her, okay. Then the dude starts giving orders. He's like, "Going, damn it, you do this and do this, and uh, you know, start boarding up the windows and stuff, or closing them down." So, yeah. So, so there's a brief downtime, but it doesn't last long. No, it doesn't. I like films like this that are in big gothic houses like this. I have an appreciation mm -hmm. for films like this, like uh, burnt offerings, stuff like that. You know. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's bad when even the maid is hot, man. Burn Offerings is a great one. I'm glad Anthony introduced me to that film. God, Oliver Reed. Dude. Karen Black. That's an all-star cast in there. Dennis, man. Burgess Meredith. Movie. Oh, yeah. Directed by Dan Dan Curtis. So Dan Curtis was a good director. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're all outside in the cars and stuff like that, so they can't go anywhere. 
quick into the house, down the cellar. Yeah. Here it is. Grab and pull her down there. Yeah, it's like they work together as a team, these fuckers do. Like ants do. Oh, they stabbed her. Yeah, stabbed her hand to the fucking thing. They had a plan. The first person that comes here, this is what we're going to do, guy. Hit like Pammy Voorhees, man. Pamela Voorhees, man. I ain't going to take out. No, this chick I'm not going to deal with, man. I'm going to take this one out right now. <laughs> It is the sickle. I I had to add that for it, man. Oh yeah, Russell asked who did the zombie makeup a kid. Uh I, it's not too bad. It's not terrible. It's just some of it just looks like a dude that they just put makeup on, you know. Kind of like Dawn of the Dead a little bit, but you know. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of those fuckers look like they've been buried for two hundred years and then you had this guy with some makeup on. I noticed that, too, from JT's video, that one uh, biker dude that got killed by a person in the mall from Dawn of the Dead had a swastika um, patch on his vest, on his yeah. uh, whatever. I was like, damn. You'll like, you'll like Burnt Offerings, Corey. I like it a lot. Uh, it, it's really good. Um, wow. It's, yeah. Karen Black, you know, it's like, and Oliver Reed of Hammer fame. I forgot. He's for, he was from uh, some Hammer films, so. Oh, hell yeah. Plus, he, he, he also did The Brood. Oh, fuck yeah, he did The Brood. I mean, everyone knows maybe my love for The Brood. I I, I like I really like The Brood. I don't know. <laughs> that that scene with the husband from um, the dude that played in Black Christmas, he's just looking at her. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll help you. Like, oh, oh. Yeah, he, like, he just an expression on his <laughs> And she's like, I, I disgust you. You I hate disgust me. you, right? <laughs> you hate me. <laughs> it's like, damn, chill. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I knew it. I knew you'd think that. It's like, ah. Oh. And he's just you like, just the expression. Me. You're like, yeah, he's like out of here. He's like, fuck this shit. Samantha Egger, yeah, you hate me. You hate what? me. <laughs> uh, what, what do you want me to do? It's gross. <laughs> uh, I had great you know, shit. It's fucking gross. What do you expect of me? Yeah. Yeah, Samantha Egger. Yep. And um, also in uh, Curtains. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the, the husband, that's uh, Art Handel, man. He's been in a lot of shit. Um, Black Animal Christmas, House. Uh, the Brood, yeah. um, the uh, first remake of Invasion of Body Snatchers, um, uh, Porky's. He was one of the cops. I guess Porky's is under Fox, which is under Disney, so we may not never see that film. <laughs> I got the DVD of it. Uh, I'm wanting to get the Arrow uh, Blu-ray. Nice. Arrow did and it's been talked Blu-ray. about too, and Kino's releasing it. Uh, um, blown away with um, with uh, Jeff Bridges and um, Tommy Lee Jones. Whoa. That film is a trip, and Kino's releasing that, so. Uh, Grats Aquino for picking that one up. That's a good film. It's just different. Yeah, they're just at the point you see the thing, you see the sickle go in the backside of her neck and just slowly go like butter. Yeah. That must be a sharp motherfucker. And then the body just falls. You know, the head just all plops down and shit. <laughs> yeah. And then the body just like slowly kind of like drips down you kind of see her you know yeah they carry weapons and everything yeah they're not effing around with this they're just like what's a bit of bra 2015 below 2015 film really He's kind of, he's a little bit wrong with that because Oliver Reed died in um, 2000, like right, right, right during the filming of Gladiator, like at the tail end of that, you know, yeah, that's why they dedicated the film to him. Yeah, he drank himself to death. 
basically. Shadows and dust. Jeez. All does that, shadows and dust, and they all go. That's my all-time favorite film, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and they all just come up all behind him and just go <clears throat> with all the swords and shit in them. Shit. Knew it was coming. Like he all grabs the one dude, he says, he's like going, you're supposed to give me good giraffes. These are queer giraffes. You, or you gave me queer giraffes. And he like just does what I was like, you'll take those giraffes, you'll eff them like it. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. The dude well, with yeah. the stash gets it. Um, the dude with the stash gets it pretty badly, too. Looks like a is it Roger Daltrey? One of the he looks like a little bit like Roger Daltrey, one of the uh, James Bonds for like a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This is where they all drag her down and stuff like that. He's just allowing them to do it. No, they're not gonna leave you alone. They're going to get a battery ram, did you? Yeah. But and they don't even talk. They just kind of know what each other's doing. Like this one here's climbing up the side of the building. They ain't have to talk. They just got a plan. Well, it's funny to the part two where they let them in, see where they're going, right? They just follow them. So it's the funny part. Because they keep on thinking they want something here. And they actually they don't, but that's what they think. They they say they want something here in this house. Yeah, you Yeah, yeah they, they pick up the weapons and shit like that. I, I just <laughs> Yeah, they want something all right. It's called you, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, look at that sickle, man. Damn. Or scythe. You know, that's a that's a true scythe, too, for, for cutting flipping long bladed grass and corn and shit. Yeah, corn uh, corn scythes. I'm at the scene with the uh, chick with the red shirt when she gets it. I, I don't know how. But your 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 version must be longer than mine. Well, no, it's, since it's since it's Tubi, you get uh, you get those commercial breaks or whatever they are. So all oh, right, okay. Oh yeah, so, yeah. I forgot you didn't have a, a physical version. Okay. So I'm I'm 43 minutes in, almost 44. So it's okay. Like I said, I've seen it before, so I kind of know the deal and stuff like that. It's just cool, kind of rewatching it bigger screen wise. Because so I saw it originally here on on a look movie on the uh, the PC and stuff like that. And it played fine. Played fine all the way through. This is this is this part here with the, with the chick with the red shirts. They're just pulling her slowly, so it's definitely influenced by uh, in, by zombie too. Uh, um, are you going to get a physical version of this? I will eventually. Yeah, I just uh, I'm waiting for sales. You know, I got a, a scrap for cash right now, so yeah, it keeps on telling me to calm the hell down. So I calm the hell down with it. You know, and stuff like that. <laughs> and I put a lot of stuff on my wish list, so it's on a wish list and stuff like that. So when the sales pop up and just have a savings for it, you know, play money. So I have play money, which I have enough. I'll know what to get. So, cause I want to get that crow 4k. I want to get the crow 4k badly. I, I want that 4k. I want the, um, the, the uh, faculty and, um, the, uh, Oh yeah. The, the faculty. You know what? I, and I've never Kevin seen the faculty is one of those nineties films where I'm like, kind of like, I wasn't into horror then and stuff like that too. So nineties were an interesting time for horror, you know, yeah. with scream being scream. And I'm kind of like, I'm not as bad as bad as JT is with it, with the original trilogy of screams. I just think it's a little bit overrated as a franchise, but you know, I mean the, the Drew Barrymore kill though is flipping great. That's just terrifically done by Wes Craven. Yeah. The uh, Killer Clowns full case come up, uh, coming out too. The uh, Steelbook. Yeah, that's a beautiful looking Steelbook. That might be Steelbook of the Year. We'll see. It is. Yeah, that is one that I usually don't get Screen Factory that much anymore, but I did get that. That that, the, the that Screen that, Factories uh, that I've gotten. Uh, Double Dip was the Exorcist Three. Um, yeah, you know, came with the slip because I do have the Blu-ray Screen Factory one, but uh. One came with the slip, you know, the original artwork. So I'm like, hey, that's cool. That works. And it's the same transfer. So, <laughs> so I don't mind. Um, a silver bullet, I didn't I didn't own. 
So it's cool to pick up that 4K. And that's a good 4K. Yeah. Um, I, I was happy Kino Lorber released uh, Cujo. Uh, that's my favorite Stephen King film. I love Cujo. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I got that one. Uh, my my favorite Cujo is still. Um, let me see. Let me, let me show you my my favorite release of Cujo. It's the Eureka Limited Edition. Oh wow! Yeah, that's a nice one. I think I think uh, Alan has that one. That that's my favorite one. That's a nice one. I had the DVD of Cujo, so it's just good to get a, a better kind of sl with slip with addition of that. Kino does good with their transfers and stuff like that. So, Man. This is a, uh, I got the I got the Boogans Blue or Ray from them. I still need to watch. I got Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the seventies one with uh, Donald Sutherland. Um, I, that, I I need to watch that one all the way. I I haven't watched that film. That's all my favorite through. one. I love the original, but that, that 1978 version, the Southern one, is my favorite. They say that's, that's one of the better movie. remakes ever done. It is. It, it's it, it's probably the third best, in my opinion. The first two being um, The Thing and The Fly. Thing and The Fly and Vagina Life Snipers are the three best remakes. That's a very good Cronenberg, too, The Fly. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good Cronenbergs. I just I, I, the Dead Zone is really good. That's just something different from him. Um, but Cronenberg, I can talk all day about him. That's why he's just <laughs> he's one of those directors. Yeah. And and she can't run anywhere either, man. Because that that trap broke her fucking ankle. Yeah. Oh no, it's done. Mm -hmm. I, bear traps are actual bear traps and stuff like that. That can actually gnaw a flipping ankle off. You know, yeah. That's why they're called that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen Bruiser Russell. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It, it's not, it's, it's, it doesn't get a lot of love, but I think it's all right. There's that one too that Arrow has. What is it? Witches? I think it's called, or The Witches from George A. Se Romero? Season of the Witch. Season of the Witch, yeah. I know the crazies can be hit and miss. I like the remake of the crazies. Um, that's the only version I've seen with uh, Timothy Oliphant in it. I like both of them. You know? Yeah. I do. Thanks, Russell. Well, I'm sure you could, man. All we do what? is. Oh, t t Russell, you're oh, the man. Oh, <laughs> you're the man. All, all I do is, 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 is throw a film on, watch it, and talk about it, man. And I'm yeah, such dude. A nerd. And I'm such a nerd about it, I just happen to know some shit about it. Right? Yeah. That's all Same it is. Too. I'm a huge, like, I've always been a nerd, but past few years I've been a huge uh, film nerd, and I've just gotten introduced to these films, so I'm kind of a, <laughs> a virgin in this aspect for some of these films, you know, <laughs> just diving into them. Yeah, because trust me, if, if we was in person, I would not be able to do half what, what I'm able to do. It's, <laughs> the fact, it's the fact that we're not together is, is what makes me so outgoing. I can sit here all day and be out going by myself because we're not actually in person. Now, if it was just me and you, yeah. But if it was me and all these people together, I'd be fucking. Oh insane. God, dude, we'd be like, I, I, I would be, be so around the campfire and shit. <laughs> I would be so uncomfortable, man. I would probably be a total dick, man. I, I would, I, I would be so standoffish. You'd see completely different me. You really would. You mean the boutique shop, everybody's family there. Just be like. But that's why I drank for years, man, is, is because it, it allowed my inhibitions to go away. Anxiety. Yeah, I, I, that's why I did it for a lot of stuff. Yeah, just forget get about. off over it. something like that, be a bad day at work. It could get really bad. I'm like, oh, fuck this shit. I'm going to put on. When I start getting to collecting horror films and stuff like that, it's like. Oh fuck, I'm just going to watch this and just get wasted and watch it and stuff like that. And you end up forgetting about it. Yeah, you, get, you know, when you're drinking, you're just not worried about it, man. You're Superman. I'm at the point where she's like, you know, yeah. Here we go. She push it. No, why are you pushing him all the way over there? You you can't stop shit. <laughs> it sucks here she, since she has a bad leg and she's basically trapped there and she can't really run anywhere. 
and she she's gonna defend him though. She's she, one of the last to go. Man. Yeah. So you can say she's like a final girl, like the final girl to a go. And that too, and it's love for appreciation. Like, if not for uh, Johnny's Boutique labels, aka Johnny Walker, I would not know about Blood Feast whatsoever. I know Dirk and Darren talked oh, about that film. Know. I fucking I love Blood Johnny. Feast. Herschel Gordon I, Lewis. Oh my god, what a fucking great slasher! Johnny, I'm sorry, don't mean to cuss there, but it's a great slasher. I love it a lot. <laughs> I've known Johnny for a long time, man. Almost three years ago, me and Johnny did a a, a, a top ten uh, best um, best uh, Italian horror films uh, countdown. That's a, Walker did. man. I'm that's Johnny why I'm interested too. when you mention top five Jallos and stuff like that. I'm like, you know what? I'd rather do that on your channel. I totally agree with that. I totally agree. Because I know what my top five are. I mean, I mean, God, the four could change. Possibly not. That's hard. That's hard to do a top five, specifically for Jallo. I mean, but yeah. there's some, damn, there's some good ones. I met uh, Johnny through uh, Todd Walnut. Okay. Do you know Todd? Todd, Todd Walnut? I really don't. He's he he's been around about ten years, man. Go go check him out uh, when you get the chance. Okay. About ten years, that motherfucker's been around. And that's how I met Johnny. That's how Hector. I do believe that's how Hector found out about my channel was through Tom, uh, and through Johnny. This is a much smaller community than people think it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a small world, man. It, it really it really is. That that's how, that, that's how we find each other. It's two other people's channel. Like I say with your collection, but Johnny has a I think he has every arrow ever put out. Um He I think he's still missing some of the window ones. I think me and him are real close in our window. Nice. We start collecting those windows because Todd Walnuts has every single one. That's crazy. Todd Walnuts got like thirty of them. I got like twenty four of them. I'm only I've not seen people, Frontiers, man. Russell. I've only seen um, I've only seen um, um Oh Frontiers is on the list, Russell. There's Frontiers, there's Martyrs I still need to watch too. There's Inside, Ooh. there's there's um I got I inside schedule. I'll do inside here in just uh, two or three weeks, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it's a Christmas film, technically. <laughs> but yeah. I remember the scene from it. I mean, the scene is like top tier horror, like, like, oh, it's coming. Here comes the chop. It's coming. Here we go. I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> Mama, get the fuck off. The mom's hardcore in this. I kind of like that. It's kind of sexy of her, man. She's like, you get the heck away from me. <laughs> She's, yeah. Leslie. She's a zombie, dude. She's creepier than you are. I know that that is pre that's pretty creepy there. I have to admit. I'm like going, oh, look at that lucky little bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Frontiers is definitely on the list. I got inside coming here soon. Um, Man, I got so many I'm going to do. There's high so tension. Many. That's what it is. The only one I've seen is high tension. And, and that's top. Just, that's top tier. That's top tier horror for me. Uh, Brad yeah, introduced me. Muscle. Brad introduced me to that, and and I bought the uh, the Blu-ray that uh, Lionsgate released. And I fuck. I, I mean, that's a great. That's the ending you can only see once, and you know, then yeah. you know, kind of like Seven, but you can still appreciate it. I, but it's like, damn. I did that with Russell about three months ago, something like that. Yeah, the chainsaw scene in the car. <laughs> I mean, subtitles are completely wrong. She says, Mark, they're down in the garden. There must be 20 or so. Well, in the subtitles, they said there must be 30 of them. Like, it's it's funny. I'm at the scene where they're, like, in the dining room or something like that, and everyone's all scared, and the one dude in the white shirt's like, let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> like, it's no thing. Hey, Sean. What's going on, buddy? Sean 420. Yeah. 
Great cool. picture, man. Yeah, that's from a Friday Thirteenth remake. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I was talking to uh, Russell last night, man. And he he had comment on your Friday Thirteenth, and uh, I was telling him that you know I, with I, the actual I, I, snake being killed, yes, if he wanted that, I guess I'm like nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was telling him that, that, that I thought that you you and I made, made made a really good team, and he was like, yeah, you guys do make a really good team. So I, was I like, appreciate hey. that. I appreciate that, Russ. Thing we we do BS a lot. We can sometimes uh, veer off and shit, but uh, you know it, it makes for a funner stream and shit. <laughs> we. We kicked ass on that Friday Thirteenth screen. I love doing that shit. Yeah, that was fun. That's funny. And um, in Bloody Moon, same thing. A snake is actually killed, and you see more of that. The head's chopped off, and you see the the chopped off head on there still moving and shit. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I didn't find too many issues at 4K. I like the way it looked. I did too. It's just like you say, because I mentioned that in the stream today, just with the freezing there, because it didn't happen to me, but I watched the theatrical cut, so it makes me wonder if that's on the uncut version of that. So I'm like mm. going, oh, you know, because that pisses me off. It, it does. It makes me hold my breath a bit. But I'm like going, because you pay for that, right? You pay for that format. So, mm. but this is, uh, this is on the same player, and I haven't had any problem with it yet. This is playing yeah. great. With She's mine like, and like Brad's it. made good He's points done. too. It's like the the format is the format, but DNR is DNR, and it does have problems. I mean, Blu-rays don't have these problems. This was like I, I would have I eaten, would the, eaten snake. the snake. Yeah, <laughs> it's I a delicacy. It's a delicacy in countries, you know. I, I I never had it, but but I I I've heard it's good. You're supposed to fry it up, I think. Like all southern style, like with crawdads and shit. <laughs> she gets stupid on Leslie, man. Leslie's sitting there eating Michael, and she's beating her fucking head against his tub. You fucking bitch. Like you hardcore. Like basically breaks her neck while she's doing you, it. Yeah. You killed my son. She just gets stupid on her, man. And there's like white shit that, coming that out. That part where they're all, they're all sitting on the chair, and he all starts kissing her and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, great sleeves, man. That's a little bit of incest there. there. Yeah. Little man with the little man. He loves his mama. Yeah, he all just goes up that lake. She is very she is she is pretty hot too, I have to admit, but she's like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Something about those Italian women, man. You you either get Italian women that are bigger and not attractive. Or you get these kind that are very, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I mean, look at all the great looking women and all the jellos for Christ's sakes, man. Oh, for, oh, Dario knew what he was doing. He he famously said that, right? What? It's like, what do you want me to get? Like ugly people to do this? Right. Come on. Jess Franco. Jess Franco knows what oh, he's doing. Dude. 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 Yeah. Was it Lorna the Witch or whatever her name is or whatever? You know, so it's like. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, because Kino Colt released two of his films i think so um fin, fin, uh, finwick's who you're talking about yeah oh edwidge oh yeah strip nude for your killer yeah that's basically softcore porn <laughs> a little bit there, there's actually a, there, there, there's a uh, just franco man where the, he there's one of them where well there's more than one i guess but there's one in particular where they're actually having sex on that mother i can see that he was that way um, the, um, yeah, this is where I'm at the point where she bites him, bites the little, little dude. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the fuck he is, man. Yeah. I know he, he started talking about the film cause he wasn't talking about it for a long time. So he finally started talking about it. So he's upbeat about it. It's his claim to fame on, on, on the special features. There, there's, Specific thing where he's talking at, at like uh, horror cons and shit. He he completely embraces it now. Might as well, man. It's it's your claim to fame, and he's fucking famous for it. Pe people love his character. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just the way the fans are now. You know, they oh yeah, they love that. They're totally entertained by him and, and his uh, incestuous love for his. Well, book. it's cool when they talk about it, right? That's that's what you want. It's like going up to Savini, which I who, who I who I've heard is a dick. Well, I've heard is a pretty yeah. pretty you know with a lot yeah. of things, but 
I mean, you come up. If I had a poster of the burning, I'd come up. Could you sign it? Yeah. If I came up with a poster for Nightmare in a Damaged Brain, I would ask him to do it, if he would. That'd be funny if he would sign it. I think he'd probably spit in my face and say, get this, get this shit out of here. Yeah, I seen a video did a long time ago, yep. He, he, he'd be like, you know I didn't do the practical effects for this, right? Yeah, but I know you were there and you helped them out. So I'll get the uh, I'll lie and say, I'll get the other person's signature, sure. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you were suggesting things, we'll put it that way. Yeah. Or maniac, you know? Oh, man. Return of Living Dead reboot is in the works. Oh, shit. Oh my god. I do have on DVD uh Night of the Living Dead, the uh the one Sabini did. I have that on DVD. I got that at Big Lots. I still need to watch that one. That's not bad. I mean I, I like it. There's rumors that there's a there's a Blu-ray or 4K coming for that. There's rumors for that one. So that has um what's his name who played Candyman? Oh um, he's in it. Tony Todd, yeah. Yeah, Tony Todd, yeah. It's a little bit different, like it's a more alien type of a thing and stuff like that. But the practical effects are really good. Yeah, the, there's actually a lot of fans of it, man. Um, I I like it, but I don't like it like I do the original one, man. The, the original one is just no. The great. original one has its own stands on its own with mm -hmm. with the daughter uh, killing the mother with the with the shovel. Yeah. Oh, with with the uh, with the uh, spade, uh, spade, right? Yeah. It's the um, uh, I, fuck, I can't remember what they call it. It's used for flowers. Yeah, yeah, or, uh, yeah. I used to use it to help my mom out. Yeah, yep. it starts like just stabbing her and stuff like that. Practical effects and blood and black and white, dude. You never saw that. You can tell in in, in the original Night of the Dead that they weren't sure how they wanted the zombies. You to go killed my them. son, you bitch! You killed him you know, because <laughs> because um. Uh, the, the, the original zombie, he's taking a rock and hitting the window with it, but by the time Dawn of the Dead comes out, they changed it. Yeah. Just like they, were, they weren't grabbing weapons in, in, the, in the Romero one there for a while, but in the original one, you could tell that he wasn't sure what he wanted his zombies to do yet. I yeah, And I get that, too. It's... He just wasn't sure because they were creating as they were going. What could have been later on if they would have just given him a budget? I mean... Yeah, that's true, Russell. It, 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 it's the same thing, except for it's the glass instead of um, a sliver of wood. Yeah. It doesn't quite go right through the eye. It just kind of scrapes through the face. Well, I think it does, but yeah. differently. There's a professor. She's like, oh, my poor baby. Oh, you killed him. <laughs> she gets stupid on her, man. You killed my son. Yeah, I got to start so like shaking her. Damn you. Yeah. <laughs> Not a professor's return. He's going to eat this motherfucker. Yeah, it's all funny. It shows him good good camera yeah, work here. You know, top view yeah. of them with the battering ram. Yeah, it's basically a garden hoe. Sorry, sorry about what, Force One? Oh, it's a hoe, yeah. Garden hoe, sorry, yeah. You just said hoe. Oh, you hoe. Oh. What was that? That was a black comedy is like you how dare you call her like a gardening tool and stuff like that I like to say that to uh it's so good it's so funny like um lewis gossett what would you oh. call me boy would you call yeah. me boy he's all uh i ain't call you nothing sorry he's he's yeah you did you call me a you do look like a female street boy <laughs> you guys all playing um rolling stones listening to this stuff hey sean what's going on Got done with his watch along of um, a taxi hey, driver. That that's a great film, man. That's just an all time great film. You know what I mean? Martin Scorsese. Oh, dude. I agree with you, Keith. I don't think he's done a bad film like ever. No. The, some aren't. He's aren't as good as others, but they're all great. You know. There is a collection that somebody's bringing up of his uh, his religious films, like The Last Temptation of Christ. He did a he did a couple other ones too. I think Elijah Wood plays him. Place Christ like when in the desert, his journey in the desert and shit like that. Yeah. I'm sorry, I I hype up. I'm a huge right. mark for the Last Temptation of Christ. I did not think I'd like that film as much as I did. Right, I, I really didn't. I mean, 
Right. Well, speaking of Elijah Wood, I was never a big fan of his, man, until he did that Maniac re remake. Right. And I was like, damn. Right? Yeah. He, he, he earned my respect on that, and I've been a fan ever since. I love how it's completely done. That, completely that's here on Tubi. I've, I've, I've watched some of it. Dude, some of those scenes are brutal. Like, so I'm like, damn, they followed this pretty good in its own style. It's in its own, you know, its own stratosphere there with stuff. But it's it's a modern, it's a good modern take on it at the time. So, right. Yeah. I the love mascot of four good. movies? Oh, shit. That's a good question, Sean420. Uh, who, who is the mascot of four movies? Shit, I don't know. Um, that could be a few different know. people. You got so many. Like if hey, you had Sammy? to pick one. I don't think you could pick one. You know, it's just like, hey, Sammy, what's going on? <laughs> Sammy voice Smith. That Excellent. win Sin City was funny. Welcome. Yeah, Sammy Boy Smith. Cool name, man. <laughs> Savini did the the masks for uh, Bray Wyatt, um, Mr. Atunga. Those were his. Uh, Atunga went to him and asked him, could you do these masks for me? That's crazy. And those are very good masks that he had. Holy shit. Terrifying. Um, are you, are you, are you, by, uh, Sammy, are, are you, are you by chance, uh, Influenced by Davy Boy Smith, <laughs> it just totally reminds me. It, it, it has to have something to do with it. Has to. That's funny, dude. If the stash goes in there and sees that everybody's dead, you just see his expression has his hand over his face, like, right, <laughs> like that. There's no one. There's no one. All right, there's no one here. Yeah, they're, they're they're going into the church on on mine here. Here, I'll um I'll wait till you get to where they're going in the church, man. I'm um an hour and six minutes in, so. Yeah, I'll I'll pause mine and wait for you since, since you got ads because I'm about five minutes ahead. Of you. Thanks, Keith. I appreciate that. Yeah. It, it, it's funny, but yeah, the it's kills cool. are very good in here, and yeah. And I'm like Russell there too. Give me good gore in a film and stuff like that. I'm all for that, you know. That I don't get desensitized by. Like, like Terrifier watching that for the first time. I mean that that disturbed me. I'm like, yes. holy shit, yeah. this guy. That's a whole different level, man. Whole different level. Oh yeah, Picks yeah. I'm at the point where he uh, he sees the good uh, the good doctor. And he all has that Rasputin look on him. Yeah, that's what he reminds me of, Rasputin, the Mad Monk. So he's all like, Professor, ah. Man, I knew when he started, when he had her hanging upside down, and he and he started sawing her from the vagina down. I was like, man, we're getting to a whole other level here. Terrifier is. They don't give a fuck, man. That was another good thing, too, about uh, JT's video there, introduced me to films. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, uh, Johnny Walker has mentioned Santa Sangre a few times. Um, that film looks to just be a trip. Uh, I guess there's a scene in there with a woman, something happens with her. So definitely need to check out Santa Sangre. Oh, yeah. A little bit of anthropophagus in here. In this film too, I noticed. That, uh, <laughs> Do you, uh, have you seen both? Have you seen Anthropophagus and Absurd? I've seen Absurd. I haven't watched Anthropophagus yet, but I've seen Absurd. I love Absurd. Fucking love Absurd. Best Halloween um, two knockoff of all time. <laughs> I prefer I I prefer Absurd over Anthropophagus. Oh, the scene with the uh, the scene with the saw with the. The one dude, the band star, whatever it is. Or the scene with the nurse is really good, too. Damn. That was a yeah. slow burn with her. Yeah. Those are kind of on the, on their own level, too, man, in, in their own way. Like I've not seen Dr. Butcher, but I've heard about it. 
like like you I'm 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 sure you've heard about the baby scene from Anthropophagus. Oh yeah. That's there so JT good. mentioned it, the one scene like the head through the roof or whatever like that, you know? And you know, you just see kind of see that and what have you. So where, where he eats the baby? Yeah. Yeah. That's it's yeah. it's it's giallo like too, for what I hear. Um so that is. Uh, the thing I have to publicus is, man, is it's a really slow burn until you get to those parts. It's real slow. Eastman's a good actor, big dude, uh, Greco-Roman wrestler. Um, yeah. So yeah, big dude. But yeah, uh, absurd with the uh, oven scene, which is a slow burn too. Sticks her head in there and just keeps it there. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I guess a lot of those actors, uh, a lot of those people disappeared. Uh, the actress that was in that scene disappeared. Huh. Yeah, the kid is feeling her up, Russell. You're definitely right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he are 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 you to the uh, to the uh, uh, church? I'm at the point there. Um, I'm at the point there. Um, the the mom is still alive and they're all in this um all in this area. Sure. I'm um I'm um uh, and now we're nine minutes in. Okay. Like she's all like I can't make it, I can't stand the pain, I can't yeah. do it. Yeah, we have they got her sitting down in the tree. Yeah. This is before he uh sees the monks and stuff like that. Hey, we're gonna really need some help here. And <laughs> you kind of know what's gonna happen here. It's just unfortunately with a lot of these streaming stuff, like with Amazon Prime Video, they started adding commercials, so they want to pay like an extra four ninety nine. I'm like, no, or something like that, two ninety nine. I'm like, no, why should I? Right. Yeah. You take enough of my money anyway. Why should I pay for this shit? Right. And uh, Jeffrey did it right. John Doe Juggalo, he said it right when he did that post about it, it says this is why physical media is more important than it's ever been right here see this is it right here you know exactly exactly yeah, i'm yeah. at the point where they're like they're at the like the church like the main uh, thing like ringing the bell this big huge cathedral type place it's one of those it's it looks like a big door but it's really those two regular doors like right there it's it's trippy how they do that Yeah, set, yeah, yeah, Russell, Seven released both of those. It was part of like a set, too. They had it like a double set in a box. I have them individually, but um, Absurd was first, and I think uh, Athempothagus was second. And then uh, you have yeah. Absurd 2000. <laughs> uh, the one dude playing the priest in that film. <laughs> yeah. He's been to a room and started explaining to all these monks about the problem, and he just found out that they're all dead. Yeah, they're all like undead creatures. So it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder when the when the uh, the professor found that, but it does make you wonder if they were there the whole time, right? Like in the church. Yep. Or if this was just happening while they were fighting them over there, you know? Yeah. Because they all came out of the tomb, but you didn't see no monks come out of the tomb, but a lot of people, a lot of the undead were coming out of the tomb. I think this film has the most of them in here, too, the most undead people. I think this might have the have the most that I've seen. Uh, the Beyond has quite a bit, too, but uh, City of the Living Dead, the Living Dead. Uh, possibly, yeah. The of the Living Dead's got, got a lot, too, especially when they start coming out of the ground and shit. Oh, yeah, Return of the Living Dead. Yeah. (laughs) 
That's the first ones I ever seen run like that. That's the first first real smart zombies I ever seen was in the turtle looking thing. The whole scene with the radio from the cop car. It's like we're yeah. yeah, anywhere ready. Brains. <laughs> send more gods. Yeah, yeah, send more bots. Yeah, the general in that mansion, that shithead. Yep, they're eating your they're eating your man. Or well, just the start of that with the story that the two dudes tell. When they start telling the story, you're like, oh, shit. Right. So it's an unofficial sequel, technically. Take it easy, 420. Thanks for stopping by, man. Don't forget to hit that like, brother. Yeah. Yeah, Sean, 420. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, follow Keith, man. Slash that like, sleeping bag, that subscribe, dude. He's doing great shit here. The panel was a great time. That's great shit. They turn fast, man. They just they just ate this motherfucker. He's already sitting up. Well, he seems to have it's typical in Italian films, it's the it's the look of death, right? Where they get frozen for like a second. <laughs> yeah. The makeup looks good on the monks. Yeah, oh yeah. The one dude with the teeth is all like, eh. <laughs> he's like, oh god. over there quick oh nope look someone's behind the door this is almost like a day of the dead a little bit where they put them on the table a little bit you just don't see him being pulled apart yeah ah no please yeah, this is a workshop It's funny because he comes back. That's the thing. So they're just like, you know, they, they take their bite out of him. One of us. One of us. <laughs> yeah. That's another one. I know Video Man Gizmo has mentioned it. Uh, the Hidden, I guess. Right. Um, yeah. That's a Warner archive. Um, I heard that's a pretty good one, too. It's kind of like an Invasion of the Body Snatchers, I think, a little bit. Kind of like that. Yeah, that's what I saw. I've seen that one too. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. See, you all see. Yeah, you're all good, Keith. You saw the good ones, man. I love the set decoration on this, man. You've got, I love the on location sites that they did this at. Oh, man. yeah. This is great. The gothic. I like the gothicness of it. This is done very well. It's all cool. And especially in, the, in this final scene, they go in this little workshop and then they go up these steps, man. Yeah, because this is in the set. Cool. This is an actual place. So they set up everything here. Great on um, location, yeah. Old ass places, man. I yeah, they just the leave him there. there. You just see his feet and stuff like that. They cover him too with a blanket. I thought that was funny. We don't have places like this in in America. They they don't like Florence, like um, or like places like Don't Look Now, right? Like right. the corridors and shit, um. Even Alice, Sweet Alice, just how they kind of do those locations and shit. <laughs> yeah, all the old places that we've had, we've tore down and, and built new shit. Yeah. The, the other countries do it right, man. They Or places like hospitals, like high-rise apartments, like yeah. places like that, right, where there's no place to go. Where And I kind of get uh, JT's... Uh, reasonings for not liking hospital films it's like there should be tons of people there right there should be there should be shit loads of people there so it's like that's true i'm at the point where they go down the road and they find this like cage and shit like that from where they basically started from we yeah they go it. back to the beginning basically like like the this He's song. beating the fucker in the shoulder, man. Why didn't he take that bone and crack him in the fucking head with it? I do think that is funny, the way they hit him and stuff like that, too. It's like people in the theater say that about slashers, right? It's like, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be there. That's why I do like whenever I go see newer horror films in the theater. They do that um, they do that commercial, right, where it's like, like the one dude's like, why are we hiding here? Let's hide there in the barn with the chainsaws. And they go, and the phone's like going off, and you see the killer in the back just shaking his head. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, 
He's like, turn the phone off. It's like, I'm getting a message here. I can't, I no. can't, I have to, I have to accept it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Um, no, I, I haven't seen that one, Russell. I've heard of mom and dad. Yeah. Nicholas Cage is in that one, I think. Huh? Yeah. Man, uh, tomorrow night I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing a discussion on the Maxine. Um, Daddy Long Legs and um, Long Legs Cuckoo, right? And, and Cuckoo, yeah. Cuckoo is that the one that's being done by M Night Shyamalan? No, no, it's it's a neon film. I'm not exactly. Sure oh, I'm yeah, I need to check out that trailer. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm 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 doing a discussion on both of them at six thirty. Man, you're welcome. No, to join it's not it. M Night Shyamalan. I think it's his daughter. One Dead Pit did a review of the trailer. It's like they're in a house in the in these woods somewhere and something's going on outside it looks really weird um yeah i kind of want to watch the trailers and and, and and have a discussion on all of them like i said you're you're, you're welcome to join if, if you want if you got some time oh i will i'm on vacation all this week and stuff like that too so i can't really do anything because i just paid my taxes and i gotta make make sure those go through and i paid the rent so <laughs> So I'm like you, Keith, you know, I have that agoraphobia and stuff like that. So I just got to make sure I start the car to make sure she still runs and shit. And, you know, can't do, yeah, uh, can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are what we eat is, is a good one. She had a pretty looking fucking tit too, man. He just bit it off. He's just like, yeah, it's true. He's hitting him on the shoulder and shit like that. He breaks the stupid thing. That was a pretty ass tit too, man. That's right. Like he, he he tips the zombie over, over like slow motion and he falls like through the table or whatever. And you kind of don't see it. He's like, get the tables. <laughs> here, here they are. You're fucked now. They're cornered. And, he, and it's just him and his chick that cannot run or fight because of fucking legs. I mean, look, look how long it took him to get that one backed off. And now there's like fucking 15. Yeah, there's a shitload. This film is highly rewatchable to me. I don't know. It just is. Ooh. I, 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 it definitely yeah, is. here comes, here comes, uh, here comes baby boy, Michael, Michael. Yeah. And look how fucking beautiful her tit is. It's, it's, it's such a shame. The way he looks, you know, he's like, he's all wide eyed and shit like that. He's like, all, oh, oh my baby. Michael, stop Evelyn! Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you came back to me, didn't you, and stuff like that. Yeah. Ooh, VH copy of Bad Blood, excellent, man. Oh, Bay of Blood! Oh, damn! Oh, that's wow! Yeah, that's very good. I, I got the window arrow for that one. That's the only window arrow that I have, and that's a great release by them. With the Luigi Pistilli. <laughs> Very resourceful these fuckers are, man. They're, they're gonna look at that. He just firmly, he just firmly grips her, like all caress her breasts and all this other stuff too. And then he's all like, just just bites the heck out of that. They run this fucker through the salt. The earth shall tremble, graves shall open, they shall come among the living as messengers of death, and there shall be the nights of terror. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, all of Fulci, right? Because Fulci did that. He liked putting stuff at the very end, like with House by the Cemetery. <laughs> That was good in that slasher stream I did with Darren that that popped up and stuff like that because I have a lot I could talk about that film. I mean, there's a lot going on with that shit. Like the bat scene where he gets basically his arm or his hand flipping gnawed off. I'm like going a little bit overkill there with the bat. <laughs> a little bit, but you know. Lauren, Mc, uh, Miss McCall. Uh, good jello, really. Oh, like a, a uh, a whore or a scream queen, really, if you want to, you know. She is great, man. Oh, yeah, Michael's just eating that. He's just, like, chewing it and shit. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's the scene with the saw a little bit. Yeah, too, but... He's all bringing up towards the saw. 
Yeah, they they are they're resourceful as hell, man. You see the husband yeah. coming like earlier, up and shit, and he went and grabbed the battering ram. They couldn't get the door, so they used a battering ram to batter through. Yeah, there's the other uh, one of the other people. And... You always got to have a saw in here. You always got to have some type of saw in these films. Yeah, it, it, it kind of puts you in mind of the uh, drill scene to see the living dead. Yeah, that, that came out of nowhere considering the situation. Like, damn it, you're doing something with my daughter, you son of a bitch, yeah. and all this other shit. Yeah. I told you not to come over here. He's like, yeah. Damn, you don't, well, you to he happens to be in the car. Me. He's like special needs or something. You know, yeah, and, uh, you punch me or something. You don't got to drill the drill through my fucking head, man. Come on. Yeah, the ending to be a blood. Yeah, Sean. That's a, that's a, yeah, with the kids. Yeah. I love that twist with the kids. Man. Me too. It's good old fashioned revenge. Those fuckers deserve to die. <laughs> it's like you had these people turn on these people and then the kids turn on them. It's this like, oh, death and sure be the Knights of Terror. Proficiency of the Black Spider. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's one of the films they did on the Dead End Drive-In was, um, what is it, uh, something of the Spider? Spider Labyrinth. So I'm like, okay, uh, that was a seven release. So it's like, yeah, good score for this film. Um, Excellent, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, when he starts right between her leg, right the giant salt all the way through. That I knew, I knew that motherfucker was another level when they did that. Oh, oh yeah, from know. all the way down, you see how disgusted he is with her. How disgusted he is with her. Like just the disgust on Art's face is 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 priceless. Rosario Presto Presto Pino did the special makeup effects there, Russ. You're one <laughs> rendering. Yes, I'm sure that seven release has the soundtrack to this film. I mean. Hell yeah, it, it does sound very Carpenter esque and stuff like that. The ending scene, scene like uh, Escape from New York. Yes, yeah, and, and and you're right. The rewatchability on this is looking great, man. And like I said, uh, next, next Tuesday night I'm, I'm going to be doing Living Dead at Manchester Morgue, um, also known as Let Sleeping Courses Live, 1976. And I, I fucking enjoy that one a lot too, man. It's completely yeah, 76. Yeah. So it, it's it's a it's a really fun one, man. Um, that's what I'm doing the next couple of weeks. Like I said, here in a few weeks, I'm gonna be doing the original inside. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep the uh, the uh, grindhouse slash exploitation slash none. It's extreme extreme theater, so extreme yeah. content, man. Yeah. So it's the slash e extreme films, all 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 the good fun uh, sleazy shit going. So oh god, thanks yeah. for doing me tonight, man. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Yeah, great, uh, great birthday, great, uh, great uh, birthday Tuesday, great birthday yeah, chair absolutely. Tuesday, definitely. So yeah, it was a great time. But um, yeah, um, I will. Uh, what 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 do you got coming up, man? Nothing really. Uh, just doing the do. Um, something geeky, po possibly on um, on Friday, and then something freaky on Saturday with you and Sean. So. Right. Right. Okay. Well, like I said, you're you're invited to join. Um, the uh, trailer and, and the new film that are coming up discussion, those three films tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll watch the Cuckoo trailer. I'll watch that one and stuff like that and rewatch some of the other trailers and we'll be ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, man. All right. Well, I'll catch everybody later. Thanks everybody for joining. Burial Ground, still badass. Uh, it, it never gets old. Never does. I hope enjoy it. Um, everybody have a great night. That is Chris C. I am Gorfo, and you guys are not. Have a great night. Take care, everybody. Because I am Gorophobe, and you are not.